Previously in our Brussels, Belgium video, my cousin Sarah and I explored the city, hit an awesome flea market where we scored some great deals on vintage, and shopped the antique stores in Brussels until we dropped. If you have not seen episode one of this series, you've got to go back and watch it so you can see what we found. In today's episode, we have taken a train across Belgium. Today we are in Bruges and we are going to be taking you flea market shopping and then we are going to head just outside the city center to see what Bruges thrift stores are all about. We found a vintage just on the side of the street. So we popped in and I really love this horse pen drawing. It's really beautiful. It's 32 euro. And I think about it. Oh, I like the thinking men too. Those are neat. And that's a beautiful bowl. Wow, that's heavy. 22, 22 euro. All right, so the pricing is not too bad. This is not the official vintage market that we came here to Bruges for. This is just, you know, a normal Saturday morning here in Bruges, apparently. This ram's cute. 15, he's silver plated, I think. It's gotta take like something I've never seen before. Oh, you love owls. What about this, Sarah? You could clip mail to it. <laughs> He's cute. He's oh, he's only 10 cute. euro. I have so many owls. I like this box. Is this an inkwell box, you think? Like you put, oh, I don't know. or a ring box? That's really cute. You would be a cute ring box. Does that say 15? Yeah. Not 75? Yeah, 15. The ones are like that. That's pretty cute. I might come back for this. We're going to be very selective. Yes. Very selective. Sarah's going to help me. <laughs> oh, this is cute. You could put your sugar in it or salt. Actually, salt would probably ruin the metal. It's really pretty though. I have an Art Deco tea set. This would be really cute with that. It's 20 euro. I'm liking this. What else do we got here? Look at all these treasures. I love these dragons, but I've had them before. So I'm trying to get things that I've never found, you know, back in the States. Lions. Oh, that one's tiny. It's like a baby one. <laughs> That's fun. I also love these, the birds. Those are really pretty. Mm -hmm. Do you need a lion door knocker? I don't need a lion door knocker. <laughs> I actually have a couple. Nice. I like them gold too, like mm -hmm. the brass. Or... The brass color, yeah. Oh, this one's really beautiful. I've never seen that. It's like an eagle. How many? Oh, 12. Man, you're good at reading these numbers. I, I didn't. I saw... A V. <laughs> yeah, I like this one. And this one's actually not that heavy. It's kind of thin. Oh, look at the horse. That reminds me of something that grandma would have had. Our grandma was a horse trainer and she did instructions and taught, she taught us how to ride horses. That's really neat. She also won a world championship in quarter horsing, right? Quarter horse. Quarter horse. She was awesome. Oh, look at this bowl, Sarah. It's got the enamel work on it, and then it has these swans. two swans. That's swans really pretty. Really the cemetery. They do. <laughs> yeah, I love that we're like grandma in the cemetery. 18 euro. This is really pretty. Oh, there's another one. Look, look at, at this pipe. I just want to buy the pipe. So we have discovered that Sarah loves pipes, even it's though she pants. doesn't smoke. Weird. That's kind of cool, though. But it's pretty carved. I wonder, there's got to be something else that you could do to repurpose pipes. There has to be. Look, it's a horse. We love Rouge, by the way. This one's really beautiful, too. Oh, that one's really pretty. I love that uh -huh. one. Uh-huh. Sarah, how much 17. is it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that one's... Oh. Okay, this is the pile. This is really beautiful, but it's too big. You could put other things in it. I know, that's true. I could tuck the treasures in and use it to keep them Easy. closed. Those are from India. Yeah, they're fun. They're beautiful. I've never seen a set like that. There's even a big one here. We've seen a lot of horses in art here in Belgium. It's interesting. Oh my gosh, I just noticed these. Oh my gosh. Those are beautiful. This one's square. Oh. These are really pretty. You know what? I know that Colleen would love this. I almost want to get this for Colleen. Or I'll just send her a picture. She's here. So we haven't seen him yet this morning, but I might send her a picture. I think she would love that. Look at this beautiful plate. 
It has all these pretty enamel flowers on there and then it also has the flowers on the handles. It's very heavy. It's 22 euro. That's incredible. Like that's like a hundred dollar bowl to me. Like that's a beautiful bowl. It's just so heavy and like it would have to go in a carry on. I could put it in a carry on. It's, I mean, honestly, that's one of the prettiest bowls I've seen or plates I've seen. That's a toughie. I'm thinking this is the pile for our, our first vendor, <laughs> not at the actual market we're going to. <laughs> Are you going to get the owl? I'm going to get the owl. He's cute. So Sarah collects owls. She got a cute one in Brussels yesterday or the day before. It's all a blur. We're checking out the trend chart. 1914 to 1948. Interesting. It's so different the things that you see abroad. It's so different. That's beautiful. Do you like stained glass? Mm -hmm. I mean, you picked it up, so I figured, but mm -hmm. I like stained. It is, it's the church here? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's very pretty. I also love this. It's the Last Supper, but it's like a bronze plaque. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. M. Noble. Oh, it has words on the back too. Uh -uh. This is in all, okay. Can you read it? No, because I think it's Dutch. And well, this is and, this is all in German. Volker, oh, yes, I think it's German. I'll, I'll we can look this up more. Layer is more, it's German. It's, it's German. German, it's really neat. That's beautiful. It's an oil lamp, a very yep. old one. And even if that, those things work, you only have to fill it with lamp oil mm -hmm. um, and then put a uh, lot, they call it, that's uh, some kind of wire of uh, thread. It's mm -hmm. in a it. wick, a wick. Yeah. And you light it uh -huh. and it burns it. And and you can hang it wherever you want. It's, I love that it hangs. Some, sometimes people use it uh, in, in the back garden, mm -hmm. in this yeah, that barbecue would be or beautiful whatever. Beautiful in a garden. Yeah, even those are, are used. Up. So this is a more traditional style? That's the traditional one that they could take it with them when they mm -hmm. went upstairs. They could hang it on a wall. They could, at, in the evening, work uh, with it. Mm. That's really neat. I love the idea of putting that like outside. outside. How much is this one? That one, because it's special, the normal ones I ask 30. Yeah. That one is 35. 35. But you seldom see one. Tomorrow we're standing also, but with other stuff. We're going to be there. Yeah. yeah. Well, then there I'll, uh, this one I'll take there because it's for collectors now. Yeah. And then we'll ask 65 or something. Like yeah, that for the big market. Yeah. So yeah, if we buy it today, it's, it's 35. For, Tomorrow yeah, it's 65. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's collectible. Yeah. yeah. Put candle Could, in. Yeah. yeah. But that's the real stuff. You can see it at the patination on the backside and the way it was made. It's, it's from that period. From Danny the 1600s? Van is a, an antique dealer here in Brugge. He authenticated it. And even then, I'm only asking 35 euro yeah. for mm -hmm. something that's more than 300 years old. Yeah. It's incredible. It is, it is. He was just mentioning that somebody would pay for 150 euro for a brand new ice yeah, bucket yeah, 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 yeah. at a store, but not, they don't value this as often. But collectors do, they value collectors it. Do, collectors yeah. do. Those of us that appreciate Although, old things. Mostly collectors are old and they mm -hmm. have all kinds of stuff already. And the younger people don't interest them. In... Unfortunately, and they, we're trying yeah. to help with that. That's what we're trying to help with. We're gonna get both the candle holder from the 16, late 1600s, early 1700s, and the oil lamp for 60 total, since I've got cash. And then look at this ring. Oh, that's cool, Sarah. That's beautiful. You don't wear stones much, right? Nope. Like mostly just yeah. sterling. Yeah. Let me see, you got your star ring on. Yeah, yeah 30th that's... birthday present to myself. Oh, I love that. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with giving a present to yourself. <laughs> it's a beautiful folding job. Thank you so much. So there's 70 and I've got a bag. So this is 200 years old. That's 200 years old, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's a bit crudely made, but that's how they did we it 200 years dealer. ago. Yeah. We only have one here in the center of Bruges. And he passes each day that we are here, he passes <clears> by. <throat> and he also said it immediately, that's uh, from the Bedouin. Yeah. From the Bedouin. And it's at least 200 years old, yeah. So we think everything in here is 15 euro. I'm liking this bird pendant with the heart. It looks kind of Scandinavian. Oh, look at these with the pictures in them. Uh, um, yeah, and uh, what is oh, this? Wow. 
Oh, I need one with Jesse's face when I'm traveling and I miss him. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. 35. That's a good deal. I think so. That's nice. That's cool. Like a little dog? Yeah. Does it say anything on the back? Mm hmm. <gasps> it's signed. 30 euro. Oh, that is so cool. It's got that industrial look you like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are uh, yeah. Oh, they yeah. They're nails. I yeah. yeah. I love nail, nail art. Anything that's made out of like things that have been just thrown away. Yeah. Except for spoon art. I'm not that into spoon art. Me neither. That is yeah, okay, here. That's all yours. <laughs> Thank you. You can use it um, as a pendant or also as a as a brooch. As a brooch. Is also a sign oh, that's beautiful. And these are all 15? Oh, 15 for one, yeah. Okay. How much is this? Oh, this is 15 as well. 15, yeah, it's like made uh, so the brooch, but made out of nails. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. perfect. You know. Very cool. We, we yeah. thought it was neat. It's a nice thing, eh? yeah? It's, it's beautiful. Cool. We'll take both of them. Oh, yep. I'm, I'm assuming. Yes. I'm like 15, yes. you're taking it. Yes. Cool. We both found something good. Is she painted on porcelain? It's porcelain. It is. Is it okay to pick up? Yes, please. Thank you. She's beautiful. Forty-eight. Yeah, that's just beautiful. Oh, that looks Norwegian. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. She's really beautiful. These are really pretty. The Dutch windmills. Oh, yeah. They're only 28. That's not they bad. They're all hand painted? Yes, 19th century. You can see it's on panel. Oh, wow. It's on a wooden panel, yeah. yeah. And that's the original frame, it looks like, too. Yeah, those are beautiful. What are these shark teeth? Do they have sharks here? Sharks? <laughs> are those shark teeth? Yeah. Interesting. Why do I? Why did I know that? Did we like collect shark teeth when we were little? No. Yeah, we, we knew what they were. <laughs> That's neat. That cross. Yeah, the yeah. horse one he just put out is really neat. Oh my gosh! Look at this little guy. I think this is a little Fred Telly. Twenty. He's cute. That's what I'm thinking. Unless you put an incense underneath it and it comes out. Like a little when we have a drink. We put uh, some cheese or meat or strawberries yeah, yeah. on Okay, top. so yeah. it's just like an hors d'oeuvre. Yeah. yeah, he's cute. I might have to do him too. He's different. Whenever I am traveling, I always ask locals where they would go to breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of the best places I have ever eaten have not been from Yelp reviews. They have been from tips from locals who live in that city. So today we are headed to a French restaurant in Bruges because the lovely gentleman at the flea market said this is his favorite spot. We both got the brunch. It's $23.95 and you get a coffee, you get a mimosa, you get eggs, croissant, granola, ham, cheese, pickles, bread, goat cheese. You kind of get the whole spread. Look at you over there. I lived in England for a year. You lived in England for a year. Okay, I'm going to take notes. Let's see. Did you use a fork or a knife? Knife. Knife. Okay, here. You guys, this is actually, I'm not going to lie, this is my first time doing this in my life. So, did you go right on the top? No, I went a little down. A little further down? Yeah. Oh, oh I smushed it. It's fine. Oh, you top. turn it? Yeah. You just go all the way around. I want to do Cut it? <laughs> you just pull it off. Pull it off? Okay, okay. I can get to that. <laughs> Do this little, little eggshell everywhere, okay, and then you just dip in, yeah, and you can kind of. Oh, look at that! Look at that. <laughs> We took an Uber to a thrift store that's just outside of the downtown area. It was about a 35 minute walk, so we decided to Uber, but it looks like it's gonna be pretty massive. I already see a 50% off sale sign. That's always good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my Atlanta. Where's my container, Sarah? Where's my container? So one of my goals is in the next year or two to finally have the ability 
to get a container so that I can pick up incredible things like this at thrift stores and ship them all home. piece of art in a beautiful blue palette for only three euro. I'm excited. We're going to find good stuff in here. Oh my gosh, this incredible pregnant bust. This is only 25 euro. Are you kidding me? She's gorgeous. 50 cents. That's cute. In the bag it goes. I also really love this. It's a crocheted piece that somebody has framed and matted and it's only six euro I think I can actually take this out of the frame and that's something that I could maybe reframe once I get home we're freaking out we're like so excited it's so good everything's so cheap look at these beautiful crocheted crosses three euro oh so excited what's that oh it's out of leather yeah that look looks kind of Aztec to me. Is it like a creature? Like a coaster maybe? Yeah, some kind of a sea creature. What does it say? Peru. Peru. Okay. A box 60. That's pretty neat, Sarah. I like this one too. She's pretty. And one buck, one euro. I wouldn't even let myself turn around until I finished up with the art, but we've got some digging to do over here. That basket's beautiful. This is cute. I like that. 60 cents. 60 euro cents. Do they call euros cents too? The pennies? They do? Okay. okay. The frame is gorgeous. Just put something else. I might crochet, or not crochet, but cross stitch something. Absolutely. But I love the frame. It's yeah. A buck 60. Yeah, that's beautiful. Since now I know how to eat my eggs properly, this nice. I gotta get one of these. Yeah. But that's is that wood? That's red. this is this one's cute. One's I like weird. it with the red. Yeah, that's a nice one too. And I like this one with the blue and white. It's only thirty cents. That might be the winner. That'll go good with all my kitchen stuff. Just think about the size of your egg too. Some mm -hmm. of these are really small. For like, like for like little local farm eggs. Yeah. yeah. Definitely like the wood too. I think we're gonna get these too. That's ceramic. Oh, that is ceramic. This one's wood. Yeah, that but one's too walnuty. I think I'll just get this one. Or maybe this one too. It's dark, but at least it's like old looking, old world. 30 cents. I just moved this grater and look at these brass stir spoons. They are five euro for the set. Those are gorgeous. So these will be great to have at our bar for stirring cocktails. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love these. I love, love, love. Furniture is incredible. This is 10 euro. No joke. 10 euro. 10 euro. 15 euro. Look at this. 5 euro for this cabinet. It's incredible. I like this one too. That one's 30 euro. Amazing. And I see good stuff in the back too. Okay, hold up. Wait up. What is happening? This. This. 5 euro. What is happening? Why is it only five euro? It's gorgeous. That's it, it's official. We're getting a container next trip. I'm coming back. 
I'm gonna get this painting. I love the style of it with the church in the background and the wheel. It's only eight euro, it's artist signed. And even though it is large, I can take it out of the frame and it's on a board. So if I bubble wrap it, I don't really have to worry about it breaking. And it's the size that would fit in a suitcase, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna get this ballerina too. It's all done by hand. Can you imagine the hours that it would take to make her? And I think the colors are really neat and it's only four euro. Amazing. Twenty-eight euro for everything. I want to thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace gives you everything you need to create a beautiful website with easy to edit website templates and no coding needed. Whether you're wanting to offer tutorials on how to DIY projects or how to become a reseller online, or you're wanting to share exclusive content for paid members only, there are endless options for what you can create in your member areas. It has been such a fun creative journey for me using my Squarespace site, which never stays the same. And that's part of why I love Squarespace. They are all always changing things and adding in new features, new customizable templates, and adding in more powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. If you are a vintage seller and you are only selling locally, there is the rest of the world that you can tap into. It can seem like a huge transition to start selling your products online, but Squarespace makes it easy. Head to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you are ready to launch your own website, head to squarespace.com slash left coast for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. A huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. We are hoping that they will let us put these at the front counter so we can shop. We're at a new location. We were in the car and I was Googling the honeycomb wine holder and I knew it was designer, but I didn't know it was worth that much. So now I'm tempted to go back and figure out a way to get it home, but we'll see. We'll see how well we do here at this one. Oh my word, look how cute this little end table is. Eight euro. Ugh. And then a Florentine tray that's got legs. I would get that. I would get that. I would get this stone pedestal. Maybe that little chair. Probably the little stacking tables. What else would we get in here? <laughs> We're going to be looking for smalls, but this is pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I can't even believe it. It's 40 euro. It's rosewood. 40 euro. I can't even believe it. She likes them. She likes them. Those are beautiful, Sarah. They've got the windmills. I'm loving this beautiful religious piece. I've been really picking up a lot of religious stuff this trip. That's gorgeous. That's awesome, 350. Into the cart it goes. This one I could take the painting out. That one's really pretty. I still don't think it's terribly old, but it's only 450. Oh, that looks pretty old. It's got nails and the sides instead of staples. 450, what do we think? Should we do it? There's a tiny little hole right there. But I don't know. I think we're gonna pass because of the hole. We're also gonna get this painting. It's three euro and it's signed, I think, Esther. It's very muted, but it's really pretty. And apparently it's from 1938. Or does that say 1989? Oh my gosh, I'm having the hardest time with my numbers here. Sarah? Oh, she's gone. Okay, well, we're gonna go with, I think that's a three, 1938. would be a beautiful butter dish. Look at this, 270. Oh, that is gorgeous, gorgeous. Getting that for a butter dish for at home. That is beautiful. These are nice little egg holders too. They've got wood on the bottom and there's a set of two of them. They're 30 cents each. I kinda like those so hard so hard to decide what to get i have one of these and i honestly wasn't sure where it was made from it normally would have a little tail right here that you could close it with a little stopper 
but I think I could put a little cork there and it would still work. It doesn't have any chips in it. The hand painting on it is beautiful and it's only $1.50. What is this? Oh my gosh, this plaque is only $2.50. Oh, this is stunning. This is definitely coming home with us. And then this too, this is only two euro. Can you believe it? I am in absolute awe. This looks old. That'd look really pretty with some spoons in it too. Maybe I'll use this to keep the new brass stir sticks I just got. Sarah was just saying, she's like, oh my God, Laura, that's a lot. And I was like, no, no, you should see what I did in Norway and how I fit that in luggage. I'm like, yeah, this is a lot for when you have no room left already. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Although I do still have a few more things in here. This looks like uh, Switzerland to me almost. Oh yeah. Like, like the, the, in the Yeah, and the red roof. Or Austria. 50 cents, Austria. by the way. Like yes. What else we got in here? Obviously our shoes are off. I got my egg holders. I got two of those. These are Sarah's, your flour and your tooled leather egg holder. Okay, here is the day one and a half haul. We'll call this day one and a half because today's only halfway done. We were also only here for a few hours yesterday. I got this beautiful butter dish. I'm very excited about for two euro, 70 cents. I still haven't looked this one up but it's got the stamp right there. So I think it's from, I think the B-E-L-G-E -E is from Belgium maybe, AMC. It's beautiful. I think it's very fitting that the first day that I ever tried an egg in an egg cup, I find two little egg cups and look how good the blues match in that. That's gonna look really nice together out on the counter. And then I got this little wooden one too and it was only 30 cents. Cute little ducky, the crocheted crosses. This one's really neat because it is all handmade with different woods all inlaid. And I love that they did the checkered floor. Signed G. Williams. I almost didn't get this one. I turned around and somebody grabbed it. And luckily he looked at it for a while and then put it back. It was only 350. What? I got this sterling pendant at the market this morning. This one is signed, uh, we looked it up, it's Pierre Perpon. Really pretty. Sterling, and this was 15 euro. Oh, and we found out that this is not a sugar dish. This is for incense, and I think it's worth around 150 to 200 dollars. I ended up getting it for 15 euro. I thought the little spoon meant that it was for sugar or something like that. Nope for incense for burning incense and it's pretty old and then this beautiful madonna she's hand painted on the porcelain these go for a pretty penny online i think they had 48 euro on her and i ended up getting her for about 40 and they sell for several hundred online so that was a really good deal and then this is also pretty valuable he was explaining to us how this is a hanging oil lamp and it's a pretty rare one from maybe the 17 1800s i think they were selling for around 200 dollars online lots of blue things i got a lot of blue art three euro on this one this beautiful religious wall hanging plaque it's all hand painted that's probably gold leafing or gold gilded and then that was only 250 unbelievable pretty wooden plate. I was also very excited about this pottery because I've seen this at several of the European markets, but it's always been so expensive that I couldn't justify bringing it home, but I only paid two euro. And then some more art. These are gonna come out of their frames. I'm gonna get everything wrapped up and then we're gonna do tomorrow's haul on this table as well. So we'll see all of the finds from Belgium. We are on a mission for waffles. We have not had Belgian waffles yet here in Belgium. And we found a place called House of Waffles. We're headed there now. And we're just gonna kinda check out the city as we go. Is 
our spot house of waffles. We've heard it's a place a lot of locals still go and you can get takeaway at the window or you can go inside and we're gonna go get seated inside. So we're gonna get a savory waffle. They've got spicy guacamole, club BLT. It's got an egg on it. Ooh, an Italiano vero. The Norwegian, ooh, does that have a fish? Maybe salmon? Yeah, I think that's like a smoked salmon. Yep, smoked salmon. That actually sounds kind of good too. Ooh, we got more eggs, ham and cheese. That's it for the savories. That's gonna be hard. Do you know what you're gonna do? I don't know. Sarah got the spicy guacamole. That looks amazing. And then look at this monster. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Good thing we're hungry. All we've had today is a croissant. <laughs> we can eat your own chocolate. Yeah, we're gonna DIY our waffles. <laughs> we got the smaller version since we just had like a giant monstrosity, <laughs> but we've got the banana and the custard and then we're gonna split. 50 50. I'm going to take a dollop of custard. She's going to take some bananas. Do you have chocolate too? Yes. Oh, we both get chocolate. <laughs> Coming up in part three and our final episode here in Belgium is the reason that we came. We are going to take you to one of the largest flea markets in Europe that only happens twice a year. You are not going to believe the things we find. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss when part three comes out. Until then, happy thrifting!